Welcome back. Now, Dermot Gavin is Ireland's best-known celebrity garden designer and he's been the star of the Chelsea Flower Show, presented numerous gardening programmes in the UK and Ireland and written nearly a dozen books on gardening. And now Dermot is bringing his nationwide one-man show to Irish theatres this spring, this summer, I should say, and he's joining us this morning. How are you, Dermot? I'm great. Good morning, Dermot. Thank you. Morning. Now, morning. you have a very busy day ahead of you and we'll get to what's happening later on in a second. But talk us through this one-man show, where the idea came about and what can people expect the one-man show, it's a kind of almost a stand-up gardening <laughs> Stand-up gardening, I like it. So I do a lot of talks in Britain. I do a lot of talks around the world. And they always go very well. And there's a lot of people you see in the audience at the very start that somebody has been dragged along by their partner and they're not really into it. And my challenge is always to kind of unite the room <laughs> and to create some fascination about maybe my life story, how I started off in the Chelsea Flower Show, but more so about the wonderful world of gardens and the incredible stories of people who, who have made gardens in different places around the world, who have perfected a garden style, and to bring that to life and to bring some humour into it and some element of jeopardy. And then I want to tell some stories about what happened, you know, in my career in television. I was just telling somebody the other day, I remember being at a garden party in Buckingham Palace. Nice. And I was with the wife of one of the Top Gear guys. And I remember, um, there was a whole load of us, and we'd had a bit of champagne, Her Majesty's Champagne. <laughs> I remember just about going for a swim with your one in the in the pond, in Her Majesty's pond. <laughs> and how we stopped, because uh, uh, there was a whole crowd. We found this little island. We went to the boathouse on the island. And we said, will we, will we? And we just didn't. One uh, would not approve, one would I'd not imagine. Approve. One would not Great be Great self-restraint. <laughs> so there was a lot of stuff. So those sort of things, the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, mm. whether it's gardening or just uh, getting up to a little bit of fun. So I do all those talks, and I thought, that's great, it's going well, but I want to challenge myself. So the way of challenging myself was to go and meet Pat Egan, who does concert tours for people, and to, to ask him, would it be possible to go on a theatre tour? So we start next week. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and it's fascinating. To, I guess people will go along and they'll have their own, you know, Q&A sort of style. They want to get, pick your brains about yeah. things. But to understand where that passion comes from, because, you know, growing up, gardening, you know, programmes had a certain image. And you, a bit like, I don't know, Jimmy Oliver maybe mm -hmm. did for, for cooking, you came along and sort of blew the doors open and, and put it in a very different place now. Yeah, my, I, you know, I grew up in the suburbs of Dublin in the 1970s and 1980s. That was a very grey, pebble dash place. We didn't have a great relationship with our gardens, yet I was watching Dallas every Saturday mm. evening, or even Jason and Kylie and neighbours, mm. and they were all Dallas. They were having breakfast with Miss Ellie out in the patio, mm. Jason and Kylie by the Barbie and everything like that. And I saw Willy Wonka, uh, all, all of that type of thing. And so I decided to mix up a bit of Michael Jackson in his video. Do you remember he danced down the street and every time his feet touched the ground, it illuminated. Yeah, yeah. Could we get that into a garden? Could we get the outdoor lifestyle? Could we embrace that? Our weather isn't that bad. So that was my attitude. And it took a while to break through and to get people to commission gardens that were slightly different. But we People got were there. suspicious, were they, in yeah. terms of clients were a bit like, well, I don't know if I want that. They weren't suspicious. They've just never seen anything like it. So you have to have good, sensible design. You have to know your plants. You have to know the science of a garden. And then you have to have the imaginative client who will allow you to take it one step further. Mm. And what, what was really great, it happened on television for me. So I got to practice my art through doing Homefront uh, in, the, in the Garden of BBC series for years and years and years. And then people saw it and... Uh, ground force was around at the same time and gradually the climate changed and people wanted something different. And now you're pushing the boundaries with the Garden of Pure Imagination. Just to explain to people at home, if you go to Dundrum Town Centre over the summer, you've recreated last year's Chelsea Flower Garden uh, Flower Show entry in Dundrum for people to enjoy free of charge. But it's sort of um, <clears throat> this gorgeous mix of, I suppose, an engineering feat as well as a horticultural feat because it's a moving garden. There's seven moving parts. Oh, uh, it's... it's, it's bigger than what we did at Chelsea. It's better than what we did at Chelsea. I had this idea for the Chelsea Flower Show. I was commissioned by Harrods big department store in, in Knightsbridge to create something quintessentially British. <laughs> and I, was, I, I thought, how can I do something that reflects what they like, but also take influence from what I saw and what I An outsider's am inspired by? Exactly. Mm. So that's what we've done. We ended up creating a garden over there. 
And when the garden was finished, you know, around this time last year, I said, this can't be the end of the story. So I went to Don Nugent, the manager in Dundrum, and I asked him, is there any chance of building this back home? And he said, yes. And so we've worked on it for, I suppose, about six months. And it's a beautiful looking garden, slightly cartoonish in nature, very symmetrical, quite British in, 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 in arts and crafts and style. And then every 15 minutes, it puts on a bit of a wiggle. Plants begin to, to musical tunes, begin to bob up and down, oh, trees wow. twirl, whole carousels of planting go around, window boxes go up and down, and the roof comes off the folly. So um, if you... That's seriously ambitious. <laughs> it's a <Seriously, laughs> huge trippy. amount of mechanics made by Nugent's Engineering, for, even for the Chelsea one in nice and County Kill there. Mm. Brilliant Irish architect, Paul Gallagher from Donegal, an amazing te team, uh, Donnybrook Landscapes and Inspire Landscapes in Dublin. They've put it together. We have a pop-up garden centre, so anything you see in the garden, you can go and buy. We have this most remarkable wooden model of the garden. Uh, with inbuilt music and all the kids are coming pressing the button and it does all these uh, things to the tune of pure And do you get excited when you see children totally engaged? Uh, I was standing there this morning and you just see youngsters at the top of the steps and they're just staring at it and they're, you can see them pinching themselves. Is this really happening? And mum and dad trying to explain it. It's remarkable. And we have a whole series of events for the children. If on our Instagram, we'll update that. Uh, Dermot Gavin Designs, I think, is our Instagram. So children can go along and they can learn how to garden, they can learn how to pot up seeds uh, and do various things right through the summer. So a whole summer of fun. You can, you can sense the passion and uh, the imagination. It's called, you know, pure imagination off you. Just, I mean, obviously, these are things that not everybody's going to be able to do in their garden. But yeah. I sense with you that we can still have a vision, if you like, for our gardens. Or, you know, maybe, do we need, say you've got a, a blank canvas yes. and, and you have ideas what you want to do. Like, how yeah. do you proceed from there? What do you, you what's get, the next step? You get to know your soil, your site, your situation a little bit first. So you understand, you understand your own circle. Who's using the garden? Who's the garden for? Do I have a couple of kids who I really want to show them how to mm. grow something from seed? Uh, or am um, I living the bachelor lifestyle in Docklands in Dublin and I just want something that looks architectural and really cool, yeah. So you understand your site, your situation, get out and dig a little bit, understand your soil, understand the aspect. Is it nice and open and sunny or do you want to grow star jasmine in a place that's a little bit shady? I'm doing so well on that one, Dermot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, Free tips. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll take a while to establish, but they will establish. So understand all that and then, uh, then begin to imagine style and uh, what it is about gardens that you like. I think you've touched on something really interesting. And as Tommy said, you know, how do people start? But when you start to plant something and grow it mm. and, and it doesn't go so well because you don't have that knowledge, you know, you, t you might sometimes tend to give up and go, oh, I'm just not good at this, so just leave it, just, let's just plant you know, grass and that's it. Yeah. Um, whereas, I suppose, you have to inform yourself, you have to engage with the subject and you have to be knowledgeable. Or, or just go to your local garden centre. There's an amazing campaign called Grow uh, run by Grow More at the moment. If you go on their website, garden centres all around the country are giving lectures, having experts in. Uh, people work in this industry because they, they're knowledgeable and they're passionate and they love to talk about plants. So go there, describe your site, your situation, come down to us at the Dundrum Town Centre pop-up, whatever, we're, we're the, the place staffed by horticulturalists. Uh, ask the question and they'll tell you the right plant. To or, go Dermot, right you go to one of your shows yes. and find out a bit more. You're in Limerick, uh, Roscommon, Sligo, Newbridge, Talla, Galway, Dunleary and Navan all over the next few weeks over or the, so. Over the next uh, uh, few weeks in those theatres and I'm scared but I can't wait at the same time. You better think about what you're going to say now. <laughs> I have no doubt it's going to be a super Great to evening. listen to you though, Dermot. Thanks so much for coming brilliant. in and joining us again. Great to be Great here. Great to see you. <laughs>